Is it non-GMO? I'm not sure what that means. It means the scientists didn't alter the DNA of the orange to make more money and ravage our bodies. I just buy big bags from the grocery store. That is the iconic Chef Gabriel Gator Gilbo, who goes by, of course, Chef Gator on the hit show Yellowstone. And we are so lucky he is joining us in studio with a new cookbook. I have it in my hands, Yellowstone, the official Dutt Ranch family cookbook. Gator, it is so nice to meet you. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> so how much fun are you having? Today or every day? I should just say today, shouldn't I? I always have a good time. <laughs> I, it's, it's part of who I am. I, I like to enjoy myself, and uh, I think every day is a gift. And I, I've been very fortunate to uh, be blessed with, with this, this such great success lately, and, and yes. I'm, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Either am I, because you are feeding our souls and our bellies with these incredible recipes. Tell me a little bit about your history and what inspired all of these recipes. I actually grew up down the street from here uh, in North Hollywood, and I started going to South Louisiana as a young man, and I moved to, as soon as I could to South Louisiana and Lafayette and started learning about all of my culture's food and gumbo and etouffee and all of our stews and soups. And then of course, learning from my relatives in Louisiana, I really got to get in deep into Cajun cooking. And that's really been a huge success in my life is, is my Cajun food. And there's such a comfort to those recipes. And this book is full of comfort. So it is. That could, cook book is for cooks and not chefs. That's for the home cook. And I love that yeah. because that's what most people who buy cookbooks need. We don't need, I mean, I've tried some of the tough French laundry recipes, but sometimes it's not worth it. No, and it's like it takes up the whole day. <laughs> yeah, you can whip these out no problem because these are what I use to feed the crew on all yeah. of our movie sets and we don't have time or luxuries to spend all day cooking stuff sometimes. And can we talk about how you first got your start in New Orleans and how you landed on the show? Yeah, um, I spent many years working in New Orleans on uh, movies and television shows. Uh, it's where I cut my teeth. It's where I learned how to do craft services and, and feed movie crews and I learned how to cook a lot. Uh, I developed a good reputation for myself for being timely and, and efficient. Through the years, I you know, developed enough connections and some of my colleagues were up on Yellowstone and they were struggling to get people fed. Uh, it was a hard show. It was filmed in hard locations and it was big already. Like in the beginning, it was already big. They started getting, there started to be chatter around the set of people that knew of me or knew me. Man, you really got to get Gator up here. Eventually that morphed into, here, call him. And uh, somebody handed the phone over to, to one of the producers and they said, hey, you want to come to Utah and do a cowboy show? Yep, sure do. <laughs> get me out of the swamp for a while. I'm unimaginable. You had no idea where you were going. Uh, all I had was the address. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, I, I little did I know what it was going to be uh, later in, in my life and that it would change one phone call changed my life forever. So how long did it take you to put this book together? <laughs> it took a long time. Uh, it was very difficult to to make a, a cookbook for somebody who never measured a thing in his life. I mean, I any, ask anybody who's seen me cook or cooked with me, Gator doesn't measure things. <laughs> he just pours it in. And uh, so it took quite a bit of effort and, and I had to really sit down and, and put pen to paper and write all this stuff out. And then also to reduce the recipe sizes from 300 to 12. <laughs> right. So that, was, uh, that took some work too. And if you're a fan of the show, you'll see a bunch of great pictures. You'll see recipes that are from the show. Um, and it, it really came together nicely. And we're, we're very proud of what, what we've done. What would be your ideal Thanksgiving with your recipes? You could throw a, throw a pen and hit any page in that book and you'd win Thanksgiving. Well, I'll tell you, my Thanksgiving is in here. Fried okra, biscuits, coleslaw, pecan pie. I mean, so much comfort food in there. Yeah. What is, um, what is one of your favorites? My chicken and dumplings is one of my Ooh. favorites in there. It's a recipe inspired by my, my mother. Uh, I would always make it when I'd get homesick. Um, mm. the, there's, a, there's a great gumbo recipe in there. Well, I love it. And it's comfort food. It's accessible. It's for us cooks, not the chefs. It's just for cooks. <laughs> it's not for chefs. And uh, even if you're, you know, a beginner, this, this is going to be great. Well, thank you Start so much. Start on page 82, chicken and dumplings. Oh, okay, yes, the comfort food. <laughs> yes. Chef Gator, it's been such a treat having you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And you can watch Yellowstone CBS Sunday at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central. It is also streaming right now on Paramount+. Plus. Our two nations.
NCIS. AFP, Australian Federal Police. You stand shoulder to shoulder. This is our turf. Are we going to have a problem here? To ensure this vast swathe of ocean remains peaceful for generations to come. Also coming to Paramount Plus, crime knows no borders, and the NCIS franchise is going global starting Tuesday. This is your first look at NCIS Sydney, the Down Under spinoff that will center on a team of U.S. NCIS agents and the Australian Federal Police. They come together as a multinational task force to keep naval crimes in check in the most contested patch of the ocean on the planet. And coming up, I'm talking to the winner of Big Brother, the cool $750,000. And imagine writing songs with Bono's daughter and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's right. We're talking to the composer and songwriter of Flora and Son. Gary Clark joins me when I come back.